What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. Today, I'm going to provide you the best teams for Guild Raid in Hard, Expert, and Lunatic mode, and the best strikers for those characters. This game mode really is the best PvE game mode, in my opinion, in the game, because you can actually work with your guild to get the maximum amount of rewards, and the rewards in these boxes are just well worth it, especially in Expert and Lunatic mode. But even in Hard mode, you can still get some really good rewards, from here, you get the double attack stones, even in hard mode, which is awesome. And the same in Expert, you get double attack, Starlight, and Burn. And then in Lunatic, you get Starlight, Burn, and Bleed. But either way, any one of these, you can get the double attack stones, which is awesome. The best imprint stones in the game, except for maybe some niche stones. So the first one is hard mode. The best team, in my opinion, for hard mode is easily this team here. Uh, you want to be using lovely Alice. She's always available in the game. She gives an increased red element fighter attack by 65%. This is the best leadership in the game. And the best part about this is you only need to take Alice up to level 60. Just max out her leadership and that's it. You don't need her awakened, anything like that. Because when you use this team, you actually don't even play with her. This is actually an insane team. And Rachel, obviously, because of her burn damage, you know, Rugal is weak to burn in a hard mode. That's how you're going to break the meter by applying burn damage. And Rachel was completely for free. Now, if you don't have Rachel, what I would recommend is I just have Keo and K up here. But if you do have Rachel, Eileen is definitely going to be the best striker. Obtain 20% power to start of the stage. Obtain 10% power when using ultimate move. And she also decreases the skill cooldowns, which is nice. Which means even like Rachel, you could even put like a different card on her, like the Kazumi card, to increase your critical rate and critical damage, do a little bit more damage. Because you're going to lose cooldown when you change your option cards from two cooldown cards to having one cooldown card and one option and one other card that just offers critical damage and critical rate. But with a striker support like that, and you're decreasing skill cooldown by one second always, you can add a little extra CP, which is nice. If you don't have Eileen. And you don't have any of the other seven nice characters because Rachel has synergy with Rudy and the other Kindelans as well. You know, she obtains 10% power. If you don't have any of those characters, you can always use another burn damage character. I would not recommend using a Swimsuit K because he actually does burn explosion. And when he does do that, he'll remove the burn from Rugal. It is not good at all. Yes, yeah, sometimes it could be useful, but it's not really the ideal striker that you want to use. You don't want to take burn damage from Rugal. That's not the brightest thing you do. But who we want to find here that's really great for this is Mai here. New Year's greeting Mai. This is an amazing striker because she, and this is a good striker for any hard mode character that you're using because she inflicts burn damage equal to 10% of attack to all enemies every one second for 10 seconds. That burn damage keeps applying for 10 seconds. That is a damn good striker. And there's plenty more that do burn damage. I'm not going to go over every single one of them. Maybe I'll make a separate video about the best burn damage strikers and so on and so on. And then you have K. K is always awesome because he's going to apply the burn. He's going to benefit from Rachel. And really the same with Keel. Both of those characters are absolutely insane. And say you have... You know, you can use Keo instead of K here, or K instead of Keo. It doesn't matter. But you want to use both of them as a striker because they have a nice, they have a nice, a good link effect with each other. You know, the increased attack by 15% of HP is 7% or more. So you get a nice attack buff, increase power charge rate by 5%, a little extra PG. And then increase attack by 15% when HP is 30% or less. So Keo is actually a great striker for K, and K is actually a great striker for Keo. You'll apply all that extra burn, and they both benefit from each other for extra attack. Just an amazing team. Now, you could put Orochi in here, and you could put Mion in here, and you could put Genets in here. You could actually do that, or Eileen in here as well. I'll talk a little bit more about that, but I haven't really tested it too much yet, but right now... These guys are just doing way more damage for me. They're doing way better. And honestly, it's just easier fluctuating between both of these characters back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's just easy. It's just easy. And most of the time, I don't even use Eileen. I just use some burn damage striker to do it. It's just Eileen really is 
the best because you're going to get your PG built up super fast. You'll do Rachel's 3 PG. You'll stall the timer a little bit more. And it's going to enable you to do more damage over time when you're fighting Rugal. But you don't need her. You can actually use a different striker, a burn damage striker. No problem. You could even use All-Star Billy uh, because he offers 20% PG gain. But he doesn't offer any extra attack or burn. Then for Expert. Now in Expert Mode, this is the best team for Expert Mode. Orochi Yori for the insane attack leadership, Delon's and Eileen. Now I know a lot of you don't have Delon and you don't have Eileen. Uh, good replacements would be Lady Geese here because she'd still benefit from Orochi Yori's leadership. And then instead of Eileen, you just have Guinness, who will also benefit from Orochi's leadership. You can put in some serious work with that team. As far as strikers, Iori here, you get, if you don't have Okita, who offers 30% uh, extra critical damage, you could also use Winter Leona, who is always in the game. She also offers 30% critical damage. They will be the best for him. If you're having trouble keeping Iori alive, then go ahead and use 98 Athena for those amazing heals. Delon Nameless is easily the best striker for Delon. But if you're using Lady Geese, then what you can do is use... Let's find Lady Geese here. What you can do is you can use Geese Howard here because she obtains 15% of power at the start of the stage and also decreases skill cooldown. So you could actually use this version of Geese who you can actually craft in the game for free and give her that extra 15% power at the start of the stage because she has immunity in her core but she can take a lot of damage, and if you build up your PG super fast, and you're able to do your PG skills, that's going to help keep from taking damage. Although, whenever Rugal does an explosion, he's still going to do damage to you. Maybe, I mean, Healing Striker might also be needed. It's really going to depend on the level of your characters. And that's another thing. A lot depends on the level of your characters. If your characters are low level, they're probably going to need more Healing Strikers. But I'm giving you the best Strikers if your characters are fairly leveled up. And Geese here is actually really good. Alice is actually really good too because she gives the PG rate by 10%. Uh, the increased attack is very nice when power is 2% or more and increased attack speed. So she might actually be a better uh, than Geese himself, but you can actually get him for free. And so that's who you want to use for Lady Geese and Guinness. In Guinness here, you could actually use 97 Orochi because you get the increased attack by 15%, base HP is 7% more, and decreases damage received, which is fine, but this is actually a really good one right here. Uh, Yamazaki here, you can actually get free from the game, you can actually craft him from the advance, is he gives a decreased skill cooldown by 1 second, and increases power by 1% every 1 second. So if you don't have PG cards, this might be a really good way to go for Guinness to build up his PG, so you can do his 3 PG much more quickly because that's the idea you're trying to do you're going to try to do his 3 pg and then you're going to try to do yori's 5 pg so this might actually be one of the best strikers for him it's something i haven't tested but it could be one of the best strikers for him i think i might test that in the future a lot of people just use uh, ignis and mukai because you get the increased attack as well it's really going to depend on the level of your character whether or not you have pg cards there's some variables that you have to take into account when you're talking about the best strikers, to be perfectly honest. And then you have Lunatic Mode, which you actually need Starlight for. This is your best team for Lunatic Mode. Rugal is easily the best leadership for this game mode. He just has, because of the imprint stones, giving him a decreased damage received. Uh, he just, he's a lot tankier, to be perfectly honest. And plus he just deals insane damage. And his 3 PG will stall Guild Raid Rugal. In order for Rugal to stay alive, I really need 98 Athena for the 30% PG rate. And I really do think she's one of the best strikers for him, unless you want to use some kind of attack striker. But really, for me so far, I'm finding that having Athena is actually massively good. And if you're using Orochi Iori, which will also be a great leadership here, you could do the same thing. If you're able to keep Iori alive, then you want to use Winter Leona or Okita, if you have him, to offer that 30% critical damage. Elizabeth is really the only choice you have currently. I mean, there is Mion, but she only applies Starlight for a second. She's kind of crappy here, to be perfectly honest. So Elizabeth is the best. And the best striker for Elizabeth is Psyche. 
since Psyche offers this obtain 20% power at the start of the stage, obtain 10% power when using an ultimate move, and he decreases skill cooldowns by one second, uh, he is really, really great because, you know, because of her core and building up her PG, and then you add this 20% PG, it's just an insane striker bonus. I mean, you do have Elizabeth here, she offers increased attack and decrease all active teamers by 0.6 per second, but really you want that PG gain. Now, if you're having trouble keeping Elizabeth alive, then Ash, there's a really good link effect between Lash and Elizabeth here that actually gives you a heal and super armor, and it will also decrease your skill total down by one second and give you an increased attack. So if you're having trouble keeping Elizabeth alive, then I would definitely run with Ash instead of Psyche. If you do have Eileen, that means you did get Rachel for free. So this is the only option. This is really the best option for you because of the 20% PG rate gain. But if you don't have her, then you would use Guinness and you would use all the same strikers that I talked about before using Guinness. Now, something to keep in mind is whenever you're playing on expert mode and you're using Guinness instead of Eileen, you can actually use a darkness striker here. Uh, for example, if you're using Psyche here, you could put Lady Geese here. But really, guys, you know, Lady Geese would be better up here. I mean, she's just going to benefit from Orochi's leadership. I really think that would be a much better team. And I'm going to be trying that in the future to see how well I can do. Just using Iori, Lady Geese, and Guinness to see how well I can do. I, the reason I haven't is because my Lady Geese is still at three star. So that concludes the best characters and strikers for the guild raid. I mean, I know there's other characters that you can use, but I just feel these are the best uh, collab and free-to-play teams that you can use in the guild raid. So let me know what characters you're using for a guild raid, whether it's hard, expert, or lunatic mode. And currently I'm streaming KOF at 3 p.m. GMT plus seven time on Twitch. The link will be in the description below. And as always, let me know what characters you've gotten, what cards you've gotten, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.